Hello guys, Miss Pokemon in 07 here. Woo! Finally I'm back with a Pokemon game for you guys. Damn. Yeah, I was doing Kingdom Hearts lately. Kingdom Hearts recorded. It's not that I hate Kingdom Hearts, but damn, my channel name isn't Mr. Pokemon in 07. Yeah. This is like a prime hobby for me, so yeah, most of you guys do have to be Pokemon fans as well, I'm sure, most likely. So yeah, so Silver so, guys, um, if you do remember, like, because it was a while before recording, um, my previous episode, I did defeat Chuck. And yeah, you would be expecting me to go on to, to like, you know, battle Jasmine right now. But honestly, that's not a smart move for you guys who've never played Soul Silver, or somehow for some apparent reason you are playing along with me. Um, instead, it really made sense to fly back to this tongue right here and kind of, kind of drag my screen down. Because I hate to do things and not show people what I'm doing. It's kind of rude for that spare man. So, seeing with City, this part right here, you see that red tangle? Yeah, that part right there. I'm um, kind of drag this back up. Huh? Um, yeah. Seeing with City, a beat side city that has benefited greatly from the scene. Um, this is where it did defeat Chuck. Um, the previous episode. This is a really important time with the storyline. If you can't somehow get there, you're not getting any further, guys. Ah, so yeah. Um, what I'm really surprised about is how fast this game is going along. How much episodes do they have? Like 15 already? This is like episode 16. And I'm already at the 6th gym badge. And yeah, this game. Um, this is the remake of um, Crystal, I believe. And yeah, it's not gold, guys. It's actually Crystal. And yeah. I only have 15 and I'm at like 6. And this whole game is like 16 badges. Alright, logging for others is what is what it is. But battles are battles, so let's go. <laughs> I don't know, I just like to give these mountain hikers that voice. It, it kinda suits him. So his name's Devin and he sends out dance for us. I hate these little shits. I just hate him. Let's see, burn his ass with a flame wheel. Oh I was expecting a critical hit, damn. Most likely, even if I make a new move right now, like right after this, I may be sleeping because damn, this may survive this move, it looks like. Yup. Yup. My god! He ain't that shit. This time a wasting, man. Come on. Use my full heal on this little bitch. Come on, hurry up. It's like three minutes already, man. In case, like, for you guys out there who don't usually watch my videos, I hate wasting time, guys. If something takes too long, I even skip it. So, like, yeah. I'm gonna battle this dude, but if he's wasting my time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, cut him off all together. Or maybe even, like, most of the trainers in this room. Because I may even want to, like, you know, squeeze the next gym leader into this video. Alright, so I really want this, um this Quilaba to level up, so do most of my damage with this Quilaba, should be okay, alright, come on, die you little piece of shit, what, alright, another flame wheel for your ass, ah, <sighs> yeah, well, to me guys, you know, like, media and the whole, like, movies and stuff is really the, you know, especially Disney, the idea is really look so damn bad to me right now. Maybe not most of you guys out there, but in my opinion, it's, it just looks like a total bullshit. I think they came up with some movie by now with the name Big Hero 6. And then they have like planes, Disney planes. I even saw someone make a joke on the comments bar like, Tw Coming 2016, Disney trains. <laughs> My god, seriously, just vehicles? Damn, what happened to the story is like something close to Pocahontas or Pocahontas or something close to like Sleeping Beauty or some ass, man. Just who died in the Disney community? Come on. Yeah, I know there's like a Pokemon video and I'm branching off all the Disney and shit. But I don't know. Things just seem a lot more boring than they should be. 
media world is dying guys if you have some good ideas some good ideas i'm starting really bad right now because i'm really tired actually it's like sunday evening and recording this and yeah damn shit no damn all right yeah guys you already saw this dumbass dance for us and he's wasting my um time anyway so i'm just gonna pause this recording guys and i'm gonna come back when i'm finished so hold on guys all right yeah yeah that was a total roll shit right there guys damn ah let's see here i'm not good with large crowds so i'm camping out here with my pokemon um, I didn't get last part. Alright, so, um, this route is just, I don't, I think I'll just, like, show you their Pokemon. It doesn't even make sense, like, you know, actually battling them. I think I have a chance, like, killing this in one hit, so, this is, like, an exception. But, for, like, most of the other battles, I'll just show you the trainer's Pokemon, guys, and then I'm gonna skip. Because this is, like, six minutes already in this into this recording, and... Yeah, it's like a whole lot of time wasting. So she has a skip loom, and I believe this is her last Pokemon. It is Marrow. This is when it sends out. So I'm gonna pause this recording really quick. Now this is a water type, and I have an electric type. This is like nine levels over. So one ton of print should kill this little bitch. We should be okay. Yes. Strike. And you're out of here. All right, so yes, I should be headed deeper into the mountain. I guess, of course, go bury your face, bitch, cause it's full of shame. <laughs> ah, just one lousy ass revive. Seriously, that could have been something better. Damn. So I'm just gonna see, do I have a repel on right now? Ah, uh, no, I don't apparently. Use my repel. Head up this ladder right here. I think he's like a photographer or something, and there really isn't. Oh, yes. Ah, usually, like this emulator I'm using just like glitches out a whole lot, so I was expecting a total glitch right here. Oh gosh. One plus one is two. But the two of us together is much stronger. The two of us aren't just some boring pair. Oh my gosh, memories guys, I think like, it's some random game I think I played, these little twins, they're like, um, I think one of the twins goes in a Pokemon game, 1 plus 1 isn't 2, and then they're like, 1 plus 1 is 2, suppose this is, if it's like some of the game and actually, I'm actually thinking about, it could be those twins, but if it's like this same game, I think they might be family or something, isn't that a like, cool theory or idea guys? If you know what I'm actually talking about, damn. Alright, come on, just die. Just die, roll of shit. And, oh, snap. I think, I think it's dead. I think it's dead, guys. Oh my god. Is it? Damn. No. My god, bitch, you have to Alright, send out this rock ass right here. And. Yeah, apparently that's the only Pokemon they have, guys, and I don't think it really does make any sense, like, battling them, anyway. So, pausing this recording, guys. Alright, yeah, guys, actually, it was nasty, man, that, that last battle right there. So, I, that last battle right there, I just had to, um, you know, go heal my Pokemon and shit. So, yeah, nothing on that stone, usually it is in Pokemon games. So, my whole idea here was actually to go back, you know, bring memories for you guys. Um, have you ever heard about the Safari Zone? Well, this is my main idea, right? Just showing it off a bit, plus getting some experience. Like, maybe, like, later on in this episode, then I will be able to, like, battle the gym leader, so. Um, let's see, best Pokemon I use right here would be, place my Pidgeotto up front. Doesn't make much difference, of course, but damn, I heard they get better experience when at the front. Watching over my girlfriend makes my heart sore. My heart's feelings for my wife. I'm not even reading that shit. Are as wide and deep as the ocean. Oh my god! <laughs> as wide and deep, guys. Oh my god, reference. 
Alright, so they have Onyx and Cloyster. Unless I'm able to just like kick their ass instantly, I don't think I will be like, you know, it's a waste of time. So, pausing this recording, guys. I'll be back with you guys soon. Alright, yeah, I'm finally back, guys. Ah, oh, the battle wasn't that bad, but damn. Okay, damn, more trainers? Oh, stupid ass photographer. Thank gosh. And I think in this bush we actually find... Oh, no, sorry. I was being mixed up with another video I did. I think I did a video on how to get, like, Sinnoh Pokemon. Pokemon from Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum in this game. And I think I got Shints and stuff in this bush. Yeah. This is only when you do something really special. Um, I think I may leave a link right there. Yeah, right there. That annotation will send you to that link. You can see how to get your Shints, your Bronzar, your Breezel, you know, that sort of stuff. Ah, so he was annoying me long enough. Hi, I have been waiting for you. What do you think? This is a brand new safari zone, by the way. I just had an idea. Would you like to take the owner aptitude test? Yes, of course, right on. Let me explain how the test works. It's very easy. All you have to do is to catch one geodude at the safari and show it to me. There are in the grass closest to the entrance. It shouldn't take long before you catch one. Good luck. Alright, so let's pay this dude. Welcome to Safari Zone, and I think we have to pay 500. Damn. I don't think it's that much in like later games. And he gives us 30 Safari Balls. Uh huh. Um, yeah, thank you. Ah. Uh, feels so different. It doesn't really bring memories. It does, but you know what I mean. Right, come on, just I think I have repel on. I think I do. Ah, there we go. We're supposed to actually just catch a geo dude and show it to him, I believe. We have one in our heart, like um oh, I don't think it would work. I was about to say maybe we could use a geo dude that I caught and see if we could show it to him, but I think it must have a safari ball in its name so that it the game would tell him that you did catch it here. So, uh, one, two, three, it's ours. Finally. That was easy, only a few seconds, thank gosh. Again, didn't, like, troll my ass. Give a nickname to Geodude? No, of course not. And he was sent to PC, so, yeah. This is just like the Safari Zone in Ferret and Leaf Green, if you have played those games. I really did enjoy it at first, but once you don't know what you're doing, it is kind of boring. Um, yes, I want to leave. You hear some fan as my computer CPU. Um, fan working really hard. This is a laptop, but still, yet. Yeah. Um, yeah, did you have fun? Yes, of course, bitch. And there's no PC for us to use. I think we even have to go outside to use a PC. This PC right here. Game, please don't glitch on me. Yeah, thank God. And. Right here, come on, hurry up, game. And let's see. I haven't really used my PC in this, um, in this like let's play here. Let's just take out, let's say, my VPN doll for now. And come on, yes. Ah, <sighs> show this guy this stupid duty. We're gonna switch it to front right now. And what's it holding? Um, let's see, Pokemon is holding Neverstone, damn. So it won't evolve, but why must it, damn. Um, oh wonderful, you've got a Geo dude, you've passed the first test. And then they tell you there are two tests, that's right. Becoming an owner is not that easy. The second test is, well, I'm still preparing for it. I'll let you know when it's ready, okay. So he just like randomly through the storyline calls you. And gives you these little stupid safari missions. Um, I don't think I will be doing, doing any more, guys. Honestly. Um, yeah. Um, move Pokemon. And then place my Leaping Ball back in here. Yeah. Now the little glitch you just saw, I think I will be cutting out like any more of those that ever occurs. So, you don't really have to worry, but. That one just right there. I just showed it for current reason. You guys be like glitching out. 
is he just like going to the bathroom or some shit and doesn't want to say it but yeah this game this emulator does glitch out a whole lot and yeah so that's it for this stupid safari zone i think i could even i could even fly back so um i'm gonna fly right now fly all the way back to um is it olive rain city i think this is where jasmine is so yeah let's take on this stupid gym <laughs> this stupid gym whoa at a loss for words guys i'm so on board right now that I, I just feel boredom is gonna kill me or some shit so run all the way to the side and then eventually right here am i ready for this shit you check my pokemon and yeah they don't look that bad did i heal him yeah moves do look okay so yeah um, <laughs> I knew you'd come here. Thank you for helping the gym, the gym leader. But battle is a separate matter. Go for it. I think I use the wrong voice there. Um, yeah, I think these like trainers saw us in the um the light tower. So I know how capable you are from the lighthouse. Lighthouse, they said light tower. It's time you showed that side of yourself, Jasmine. Good luck. And she's right here. I think she's like steel. Thank you for your help at the lighthouse. But this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the I'm not saying clang. I did say it. Steel type. Do you know about the steel type? They're very hard, cool, sharp, and really strong. Um, I'm not lying. Of course you aren't. Who doesn't know about steel? Alright, yeah. So you're challenged by leader Jasmine. Um sends out Magnum Light. Shitty move, bitch. Um, you see he's fleeing wheel. Kinda try to get this over with as fast as I could. Uh no! No! Shit! It was I saw that coming. Damn. Damn. Alright, once I'm able to move at least. Use my flame view once more. Yes, Supersonic misses. Yes! I think I may have this badge in like a minute or so, guys. Honestly, you can see it coming. It does look like it, at least for right now. Um, Steelix. Damn. There's one strong Pokemon, guys. No light. Level 35. Oh my god. I'm only level 30. Screech, damn, I don't see myself winning. Alright, let's see how much damage I at least do to this piece of crap. Oh god, I don't see it, guys. This looks really impossible. Damn, I may mean, even have to like skip like some loss or something right now. No! What, survival? The heck? Alright. Me struggle a bit. <laughs> I kind of use up my portions and shit and see how long it lasts. But this isn't looking that possible right now. Alright, so Steelix is the evolution of Onyx. And Onyx was a ground completely, but this thing actually just completely changes the steel type. So I don't think that my, you know, grass moves would be doing much on this. Um. I think I have an idea for it, but I just hope it holds off for every single time for HP. Alright, let's see. I switch out my... This is a rock move. I switch out my Weeping Bell. And since my Weeping Bell is a Brass type, hopefully it survives that stupid rock throw. Ah, oh, damn. Iron Tail. This thing's dead. Damn. Alright, Sleep Bolt at least. Nice. I get first move, bitch. And then I actually switch out. Come on, come on. Rats doesn't make up on like one single move. And I switch, see if I could check these moves. I have nothing in my And then kind of spam my foot my like fire moves on the steel it. If I do faint or anything guys, I'm actually gonna cut it off, so uh I would be back when I get the badger or something if you see the last Pokemon. And come on. 
No, I'm not skipping actually making and faint. But if I do faint, I'll just cut this off and continue from steal it. Like fainting or something. So, uh. Let's see, flame meal. He's still asleep. Nice. Uh, in your teal, bitch. Literally. Damn, sleep. Oh shit! Ah, uh, just sandstorm. Damn. I was looking for something like iron teal or something. Damn. Alright, it's about time, man. Come on, it's about time. See if I could, you know, kind of remove this stupid paralysis. Because it just held me off in case you didn't realize. And. Oh, damn it. I think it's dead now. Come on, just. Yes. Sandstorm. Not much of a threat, but right now it could be. Just use my clean you. And if the game does give me a chance to heal this before it has a chance to even die, Citrus Berry, I'm sure. Battle for the Queen. Yup. Yup, it's dead. It's dead, guys. Well, keep replacing. Re what? Whoa! Survival? Ah! Oh. Well, I partly feel like a dumbass, cause shit. Um, steel is like not very effective on fire types. You know, fire does end steel, so yeah. But damn, this thing is like five levels higher than expecting that. Uh, no, wrong move, wrong move. Shit, I'm supposed to use sleep powder. Damn, no, no, no. This is not looking good guys. Not looking good. My whole let's play. Most of my battles they just like fail off. Keep fainting. Alright. See if I can go until they could. Just use time to punch on this. What doesn't affect it's still wrong? Are you serious? Oh Alright. Can learn my defense. Pretty smart. Alright, so I move with my revive and use it on. Huh. Use it on weekend though. Doesn't seem like a smart move, but I really want this shit to go to sleep. Come on now, come on. Come on, bitch. Then I use. Then I use a uh, hyper potion on my scene, even though so its HP is like full when it switches out, it has a higher chance of surviving after being hit. Alright. Defense sharply lowered and still survive. You should be a great asshole. Alright. One. Yeah. What up? Um. Switch out my weeping though. Shit, I should have like revived my um uh, my Pilava right before I switch this up. So I have a head chance like um taking the first hit. This weekend that was really fast, is what I'm looking at. Really damn fast, even faster than the Steelix. Because look at this. I actually move first. Okay guys, I'm pausing this recording and I'm gonna be back like when I at least make this piece of shit fame or something. So hold on. Alright. Yeah, so I actually somehow got this dying Steelix to faint. I think the game glitched or something because it kept like being um like halted by paralysis. I just got super lucky guys. Paralysis saved my ass. And the last Pokemon is Magnemite? Is it? Oh my god. Alright, let's see how this goes. It's a level 30, so yeah. Properly tempered steel won't be made rusty and things like this. Oh, I see. So, why is it that one simple ass flame wheel, right, guy? Is doing this much damage, bitch. Oh, I see. Is that steel or counterfeit? <laughs> ah, this thunderbolt could do a whole lot of damage, it will sing. And I don't even have much to switch with. 
So, uh, get this bitch out. Steel will hang on to the very last. Of course it will, man. Of course it will. Use my lame ass tackle and kill this bitch. What? He survived? Oh, dang it. Ah. I should be able to kill this, but the only moves I really have that are really physical and strong happen to me my like electric moves. Look at this turn of punch. Of course it won't do much. This is electric type man, come on. Let's see if I could revive my um revive my Belova, my Blaze, and get this thing going. Cause I've got some stuff to do after this recording. Ah, supersonic, damn. This way I'm not even using a Pokemon, you dumbass. And then hit it with the hyper portion. And then switch. And I, this video should be over, at least. See if I could somehow find a way to like start my journey to the next town. And then I'll end off this episode. So huh. Um Switch. Come on man, come on. Come on. Alright, one of those ass ton of bolt shouldn't, shouldn't be enough to kill this, I believe. What? Oh my god, saw that attack, guys. Damn, my health, man. Either I have, like, some like, shitty ass Pokemon, or I just got served. That Pokemon is strong as shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn, man. Okay, okay, I see how things are going. Use my tackle. Ah, this is electric type, so it should be okay, I hope. Yeah, don't be paralyzed, yes. Yes. What a lousy way to win a gym badge, but at least I did. Um, training and stuff, you know, leveling up will be pretty hard, like off screen. I actually did a, a good amount of training on my Black 2 Let's Play. But my white to let's play I keep saying black to even know what the hell. Um but it won't be that easy for this let's play. I have stuff to do. You're a better trainer than me, in both skill and kindness. In accordance with league rules, I confer upon you this badge. So we finally is a mineral badge, guys. Mineral, not steel, not climb badge, nothing of the sort. With that badge, all Pokemon including Traded Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you without question. Um, please state this too. Okay. Um, it's called Iron Tail. Your Pokemon, I really wish I had a Pikachu right now. I think I can catch one, but there's like later on in the game, like a wall from now. So, yeah. Mother calling you? Oh, holy shit, bitch. Ah, see if I could just get, see if I could just get my Pokemon a heal right now, and think about moving on to the next turn. Yeah, hurry up and heal my Pokemon, bitch. Just hurry up and heal my Pokemon for me. I've got a long way to go. Get it, Snappy. Ah, I don't know how my other like, episodes will turn out, but this one, damn. All right, Blaze is feeling better, and runs. Yes, my. Shameful as ass. Pokemon keep fainting in my let's plays. But, alright. So, we've actually gotten like how much badges now? There's like a total of like six right there. And we only have two left to get. So, um, kinda, let's see. 4K gear right here. Is it even making sense using 4K gear? Ah, not Pokedex. Damn. Pokemon. Come on down to my Pidgeotto. Use Fly. And. Let's see, so currently right now where this rectangle is is where we are. And I can drag this up right here. Yeah, that should be okay. Um this red rectangle right here is moving. We are currently in Olive Wine City. And if you did like play this game or at least see my let's you would know that I came from the Crudy app and I came all the way down to get here. Now the new town that we somehow would be able to pass to or should be able to is they call mahogany town and the closest town is a Kodiak so let's play here yeah all right so back at Kodiak city 
I think it's something I maybe leave a note if I just exit this, like, just like that. But, um, heading across here. And, let's see. Okay, I think I need surf, you know. I do think I need surf. Waterfall cave in sight. We could just cross right there. So, um, pausing this recording, guys, I'm going back with my polywide or what have been, see if I can surf across. So, hold on, guys. Alright, so finally back with my polywide and we're about to head over here, this area, see if we could, um, get over to the new city. <laughs> it would not have been, like, possible to surf here before. So, this obviously must be the new route. Um, kind of switch my. Kind of switch my quill off the back to the friend of the party. Oh, damn it! Wall bitches! A wall bitch Baldy has appeared. Ah, come on! Skip. It's smart to use my match with Tano, but I have my reasons for not using it. Come on, yes! And we've somehow gotten across. B. See this item is super portion. Okay. All right. Sick of this shit. Using my Matsu call. My super call. I don't even have a Matsu yet. Ah. Uh, sir. A whole lot of stuff inside those caves, but I won't be showing that as yet. I don't think it really is important. Ah, uh, some stupid fisherman and Mount Marta waterfall cave inside. If we could. Get these bottles for oh, right now. Yes. So this is Mahogany Tongue, guys. Um, home of the ninja. <laughs> Honestly, just look at this place. Does it look ninja-like to you? The roofs. Ah, it does kind of look at the roofs and stuff, guys. So yeah, at least I got the new town, and there's a whole lot of stuff like storyline that has to take place here. So, let's see what this guy says when he try to pass. I don't think we should be able to pass. Hiya, kid. I see you're new in Mahogany Town. Since you're new, you should try a yummy rage candy bar right now. It can be yours for just 300 won it, of course. It should be important. I think I'll show you it in my bike as well before I end this vid. Uh, I remember a person from as, as far as Kanto came to buy one a long time ago. I happened to have none in stock. My person left rather upset. I felt kind of sorry for that. Hmm, I think that was Fire Ride and Leaf Green, wasn't it, guys? If we shoot this rear candy bar on me by, um, head on over to my key items pocket, and right here at the back, it says a famous candy in Mahogany Town. Many tourists like to buy them to take home. So let's just drag our screen down right here, steadily, and yeah, this here. Ah, uh, this here is a rare candy bar, rage candy bar. I think like um like if it was ever used in a game like for like an actual item, like key item, it would be able to level up a Pokemon by ten levels, I think. It levels up by ten. And I think they actually I think in some game it actually did do that and I think they actually stopped it. I don't know. You can check out on Google if you feel I don't know as yet while recording this. But um I think that's enough, this vid has been long, so, um, I will be ending here, thanks for watching guys, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, check me out on Facebook, Twitter, links will be in the video description below, um, so, until next episode guys, that has been Mr. Pokemon 907.